up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Tigres Career. Esto es Tigres, where today, stop me if you heard this one before, but we're trying to recapture that good form that we had throughout the Apertura. I mean, we dominated the Apertura, the Closera has been a freaking roller coaster. I've never had a team be so up and down episode to episode. I just, we, we kill teams one episode, the next episode, we can't score a goal, and then we're back to killing teams, and then we're bad, we're good, we're bad, we're good, we're bad. It's freaking ridiculous. It's playing with my emotions. It's, it's got me going crazy, but we only have five games left in the close era before the playoffs start, so we really need to figure this thing out, start getting some wins, and hopefully get back to the top of the table before those playoffs start. Five games left is not a lot of time. If we keep dropping points, we could drop really far down the table really quickly. So we don't want that. We definitely want to get some wins. We're going to change things up a little bit. Switch some plays around in the lineup. And hopefully that helps us out. But today, we have a pretty easy schedule. So to start things off with, we do have a game in the Copa Libertadores. We're actually going to simulate the rest of our group stage games. We only have two games left against Nacional and River Plate. But we're seven points clear of second place. We can't fall out of the top spot, so we are going to simulate these games. The reserves are in there, and if you notice, number 9 in there, Vieto, is now in the reserves. That is a change I am making. I'm putting Zardes back in the starters, and we lose this one. Caballero scores the goal. I mean, Vieto can't even score with the reserves. I don't know what his deal is, but I really think that might have been a $21 million mistake. And our first game in the league today is going to be against 14th place Puebla. I told you it was a bit of an easy schedule, and you can see the lineup we're going to go with here. Zardes is back in there. Aquino is back in there. And this is the lineup, really, with the exception of Gudinho in goal, that we were playing with way back in August in the Apertura when we were killing teams every single game. Hopefully, reinstating those players into this lineup gives us those results back because we got to get points. Five games left is not a lot of time. Monterey's in excellent form. We can't continue to drop points. I want to finish in the top spot. So hopefully this team gets it done here. We should be able to take care of Puebla. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Puebla. And the road to the Closera final, the road to the Closera title really starts right now. We've got to get going immediately and make this push into the playoffs. Let's do this thing. Aquino, great play. Come on, he's just, just use your pace, Aquino. Have a shot, Aquino, off the freaking woodwork. Don't tell me we're starting this crap again already. Off the woodwork every time. Well, let's go. How about Lozano? Lozano, can you give me something on this side? Lozano. Good move to get by one. Keep going, Lozano. Actually, take a big touch. Just go for it. Come on, baby. Use that, use that pace. Lozano, I'm looking for Zardes in there. He got to it. It looked like he got the shot off, but he got blocked. What Zardes? 46th minute, Zardes just bangs it from about 50 yards. That's the first shot on target of the game. That's the first shot anyone's got near the goal this game. This has been the most boring game I've ever played. I don't know where to go with it. I honestly have no idea where I'm going. Just can you find some space? Lozano has a shot. Lozano scores a freaking goal. It's 1-0 over Puebla. I'm just using... I'm, I'm obviously... I mean, no. I'm... <laughs> I can't talk! I, it's so rare that I score a goal, I don't even know what to say anymore. What I was trying to say was that I am obviously just pace abusing. I am using my pacey wingers to get around the defense. I'm just running past them, honestly, with pace. That's all I can do right now. I can't get any strikers open for shots. It has to be Aquino and Lozano that's going to carry this team right now. Lozano, great play to get by one. Nilo, go ahead, Nilo. Get a ball in there. I see Zardes making that run. He's going to get on the end of it. Zardes scores a goal. Right back into the starting 11 and right back on the score sheet. Zardes makes it 2-0. Great play again from my winger, Lozano. The ball from Nilo into Zardes was perfect. That finish was sick. All right. Now we're firing, baby. Now we're back rolling. I like this. 2-0. A great performance, at least in the second half. The first half was shit. I mean, nobody did anything on either team but now we're back playing some good Tigres football oh Zardes Zardes just took it Zardes took it it's gonna be to Zignac Zignac bang that what that save was amazing and how did Zardes just lose that header how did we not score that goal what are you kidding how is that even possible 
I don't care if that's a red card. That was a statement. That's a bullshit. That shouldn't be allowed to happen. I know Pizarro's getting red carded for that. I don't care. That was garbage. How did? How was that not a foul? Because Pizarro tried to pass the ball back, and the guys tripped him, and it wasn't a foul. That was such bullshit. There's the final whistle. A 2-0 victory. I lost Pizarro at the end for a red card. A frustration foul on my part. Uh, I, I just I didn't like what happened there. I thought I should have gotten a foul. He didn't give it to me, so I made a statement and fouled him back, and I took a red card for Pizarro. So that's unfortunate, but we still get the win. Three points in the league. That's the most important thing right now. All right, so straight back into the Copa Libertadores. We're at home for our last group stage game against River Plate. Again, doesn't matter if we win or lose this thing, so we're going with the reserves. Hopefully, Vieto scores a goal. That's all I really want to see out of him is he can score goals. He does score a goal. We get the 1-1 draw. I'll take that. That's definitely a fine performance from the reserves against a very good River Plate team. And our next league match is going to be at home against now 14th place Club Tijuana. Another team that we should beat. We're making no changes to the starting 11 other than, of course, Laba in there for the now suspended Pizarro. But other than that, it's the same team. They played great against Puebla. Hopefully, we get the same performance once again. All right, here we go. Kick off at home against Tijuana. And the player I am really worried about on the other side is their Brazilian midfielder, Janinho, formerly of the LA Galaxy. Usually gives me a lot of problems in whatever career mode I play him in. So... Hopefully we can stop him today. That, that guy really actually is worrying me a little bit. Aquino. Aquino scores! That was a very tight angle. I didn't expect that one to go in, but he was open. I had to take it. And again, Zardes making an impact. He gets an assist this time. Look at the strength from Zardes. Just sits there in front of the back line. Gets the ball to his feet. Swings it out wide to a runner. Aquino bangs it. He's in stellar form. It's 1-0 over Tijuana. Come on, here we go, Lozano. Keep it in play. Cut it back. Beautiful. Beautiful, Lozano. Beautiful. Played across. Beautiful. Beautiful. Zignac with the goal. That's a misery compiler. Represent Spence FC. That's 2 0 over Tijuana. What a freaking play that was. We just scored two goals in like two minutes. We haven't done that in a very, very long time. Oh, Aquino. That was nasty. Whoops. Oh, that worked out well. Up to, Zell or up to Zardes. Zardes cuts it inside. Zardes. Still Zardes. Open shot. Giassi Zardes. He puts it home. It's 3 nothing. That's three goals in less than 10 minutes. What has gotten into this team? Go layoff. And through. It's Zignac. Big man. Zignac fires. Zignac scores again. It's 4 nothing over Tijuana. 40 minutes into this thing. We're scoring goals left, right, and center. Literally, we scored them from all over the pitch. Zignac steals it again. Zignac steals it again. That's going to be through. Zellerion to Zardes. Zardes. Bang it home. Zardes. It's 5 nothing over Tijuana in the first half. What the hell? Holy mother. This roller coaster ride just continues. This is definitely an up episode. Not a down one like last time. Good grief are we destroying Tijuana right now. I feel a little bit bad, but at the same time, we're just letting all of our frustrations out. It's all spilling onto the field, and we are absolutely... I, I've never, this is the best I've ever seen us play, honestly. This is this is scary. There's the whistle for halftime. 5 nothing at the break. 5. I don't think we scored 5 goals all of last episode. What is going on? Let's keep going, Zilla Ryan. I see you, Lozano. Go ahead. Lozano on the overlap. Lozano, you know we're looking for a cross in. There's Zignac. Zignac bangs it home. Hat trick for Zignac. 6-0 over Tijuana. Lethal counterattack. Oh, my God. That ball from Zardes. Vieto, you can't miss that. He does. <laughs> God, I just brought Vieto on. I, I, I had mercy on Tijuana. I brought out some of the starters. And Vieto screwed it up already. Can we just get a corner? Can we just put this in, please? But it was right. Vieto, I swear, what is wrong with him? There is the final whistle. A very satisfying 6 nothing victory. Man, that was a good game. I, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I haven't had fun playing with the first team in a long time. It's, it's, it's very relieving, actually, more than it is just fun. It, 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 it calms my nerves to have a performance like that. I was getting really worried about this team.
And just quickly, here are the player ratings from that as well. Zardes played a 9.8, got two goals and an assist. You think he's coming out of the starting lineup anytime soon? Viento played 30 minutes in there. You can see him at the top of the 4-3-3 that we switched to. He had a couple of open shots, couldn't put anything away, played a 6.7. Sorry, Viet, though. You're done. You're, you're done. Zardes is going to be the starter from now on. I, I'm not risking it. I can't, I can't afford to risk playing Vieto over Zardes when Zardes is just that much better. And another player has now come to me and asked for a larger contract. It's Zella Rayan, and he's now rated 77 overall. He's currently making 35k a week in wages. He wants 60, and you know what? I'll absolutely give him that 60k a week in wages. He's definitely worth it. I'm going to give him crucial first team player as well. I don't see us replacing him at all. I absolutely love him. He's the only effective center attacking mid I've used with this team. So I, I have no intention on getting rid of him at all. All right, for the last game of this episode, we are away at Pachuca. And they're in last place. So I know for certain that my starters can take care of this game. They're fully rested, ready to go. We're on the road. Lozano already scores a goal. We get the 2-1 win. Lozano scores twice. A very good performance from the team. And that win was really, really big. Because that win puts us back on top of the table with two games left to play. We have retaken the lead. Retaken that top spot from Monterey. We're now one point clear. And even more importantly, I think, our goal differential is now better than theirs. We have a plus 15. They have a plus 13. We're in a really good spot heading into the final two games of the Closera. We have a big game coming up next episode against Cruz Azul. And if we win that one, I think we're looking good to finish in that top spot. And we also have the knockout rounds of the Copa Libertadores coming up. Our first knockout opponent will be River Plate. So a pretty tough opponent to, to draw in that first knockout stage. But I like where we're headed. Our form is back. Hopefully, we don't lose it next episode, as has been the trend lately. I want to keep this momentum going. I want to break that trend of having an up episode followed by a down episode. Hopefully that does happen, but that's gonna do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you when we come back with some more Tigres career. See ya.